What is the highest state in martial arts? What is the highest state in spirituality? What is the highest expression of peace? Now, this is a very deep question that is worth some thought. So you have someone like Jesus and a Buddha. Someone like Jesus, for example. People wanted to hurt him. Obviously, they did hurt him. They hanged him on the cross. They crucified him. He didn't fight back. Jesus may not have been a martial artist, considered a martial artist. He didn't train in art of combat. But to me, he is a representation of one individual who has reached a high state of spirituality which is ultimately the, the purpose of martial arts of where it should lead you towards peace, love, compassion so he has reached to the highest level and in his level he did not fight back people wanted to hurt him they wanted to kill him and he just surrendered and allowed it to happen he didn't fight back at all and you see how much influence he has had for all these years. How much, how many people follow him? How many disciples he has? How many people that admired him? You have someone like Buddha, same thing. Buddha did not fight back, ever. People would throw rocks and stones at him and he wouldn't fight back. Someone like Martin Luther King believed and practiced nonviolence. People would hit him and the, his followers. People would hit him with batons or whatever and he followed that non-violent way. So did Gandhi. So, but you know, all these people that I'm naming are people that didn't practice martial arts. But they reached a very high level of spirituality. Even Socrates didn't fight back. They killed him because they said that he was basically poisoning the minds of the youth with his penetrating wisdom and then they end up killing him and he didn't resist he didn't fight back he allowed the course of action to take place now I believe spirituality in terms of spirituality that may be the highest point but then you have someone like Bruce Lee he was a martial artist. And he obviously fights back. You see it in his movies. He's, he only has patience to a certain level. And then when can't... There's a point where he ends up fighting back. And then that's what gained attention of the crowd gave him the audience gave him admiration from certain people people saw it was cool now people want to practice martial arts it exposed a different way of handling situations to not just sit and allow things to just people to just take step all over you he decided to fight back. So, there's different levels of attainment of spirituality. There's different levels of expression of anger. But even Bruce Lee, he fought back in 
movies and movies is just acting he's not really hurting them so he did it in a peaceful way but people that fight back in the streets get involved with the law the court system judges the jury lawyers trying to ter determine whether or not what took place was justified so when I'm speaking about this what is the best way to handle these types of situations what is the best way to handle somebody who will just not give up somebody that will continually harass you someone that will continually hurt you and abuse you somebody that is trying to be violent towards you somebody that may even try to take your life how is the situation to be handled You are tr highly trained as a martial artist. Your body's turned into a weapon. You could defend yourself. And then when the time comes to defending yourself, one person's trying to take your life and you have the option of taking his life before he takes your life. Are you going to take the other person person's life? Or are you just going to allow the other person to take your life? Even though you have the ability to protect yourself, are you just going to allow the person just to take your life? A martial artist may fight back and take the other per person's life in order to save his own life. A highly spiritual individual, maybe like a Jesus or a Buddha, may just allow the other person to do what he pleases. And it's not even about allowing, but it's just the course of action. Abraham Lincoln got assassinated. John F. Kennedy, assassinated. Tupac Shakur, assassinated. Martin Luther King, assassinated. Jesus crucified. Socrates killed. So, even people who try to protect themselves can still have their lives taken regardless so even if you know martial arts doesn't mean that somebody cannot take your life away no matter how many firearms you own and how proficient you are in shooting your life can still be taken away from you so then it ends up being is there even a point of fighting back that is something to contemplate. If somebody insults you, is there a point to insult? Is there even a reason to insult the person back? Will it help the situation? Is there a reason to fight back? That's something to contemplate. somebody hurts your ego by insulting you and then maybe you hurt that person's ego ten times more by insulting him back and then he stops so maybe that is a way to go or a bully tries to attack you you attack him back and you break his nose and then he never thinks to ever attack you again he learned his lesson maybe that could be a way to handle the situation but there's different ways to handle situations for different people. You see, comedians are very good at attacking the ego. You make fun of a comedian, and he'll make fun of you ten times more to embarrass you so you'll never make fun of him again. That is a different way of defending yourself. So there are different ways for different people. There's not just one way for everybody.